In early 2013, at a House Energy and Commerce Committee's Subcommittee on Energy and Power hearing, several energy experts agreed that the United States has a vast wealth of natural gas. Underscoring the need to expand domestic use of this clean energy source and move forward to export liquefied natural gas, one domestic energy expert stated, the boom in natural gas production has completely changed the natural gas landscape. Given concerns such as national energy independence, environmental stewardship, and the critical need for good paying jobs in our country, it only seems natural that natural gas would become the power that fuels us. Whenever the city of Gatlinburg can produce services at a lower cost and more efficiently, we do it. And natural gas gives us that opportunity. It's cheaper than electric, it's environmentally sound and safe, and it's something that's gonna produce jobs for hundreds of thousands of people. We've got one of the largest transportation systems in the state of Tennessee. And millions of people come to Gatlinburg, ride the trolleys every year, and if we would convert those to natural gas, just think of the huge effect that it would have on our environment. Clean air is what we want to have here. We want to be very, very conscious of the national park being our neighbor, and I think it's the smartest thing we can do. According to the Energy Information Administration, shale gas will account for nearly half of the natural gas produced in the U.S. by 2035. Just between West Virginia, New York, and Pennsylvania, it is estimated there's enough natural gas in the underlying shale to power every natural gas-powered device in the United States for 20 years. From manufacturing facilities in Louisiana to restaurants in Tennessee, the natural gas boom is lowering the energy cost for many businesses, enabling them to remain competitive, hire more workers, and even expand. As we built Holston's, uh, our newest restaurant, we learned that there were new products out there that were more efficient and um, a little more comfortable for what we wanted to do in the natural gas segment. And um, not only for cooking, but we found out that uh, there were things that we could do in the um, dining room that would make us more comfortable. So we added those products to create atmosphere that would be warm, uh, comfort, and a flavor that you can't really get in other settings with this type of lighting. So we really enjoyed the, the comfort that, that we got from the, the natural gas products. Though home refueling is still cost prohibitive for many Americans, natural gas used for transportation presently costs about $2 a gallon less than petroleum and burns clean. Best of all, we've got all of it we need here at home to make a complete move away from foreign sources. More American jobs, better national security, a cleaner country, and lower fuel costs, the potential for LNG is limited only by the political push against it and the need for better tools to source it. I see the most beneficial way for natural gas vehicles being used in our country today is exactly the way we're trying to do it here in Sevier County and are going to do it here in Sevier County. Uh, the cities and the counties are willing to convert their vehicles over to natural gas vehicles, enable them, provide them a 45% savings on their transportation fuel on an annual basis, and also it's environmentally friendly. It cuts down the emissions that the current vehicles are putting out on the road, and for us here in Sevier County, at the foot of the Smoky Mountains, that's one of the best things we can do. To learn more about the Sevier County Utility District, and the future of natural gas, visit them online at www.scudgas.org or call 865-453-3272.